dishes that reach out to the emotions of those who eat them. A magical sauce loved by celebrities and the ultimate French cuisine. Tradition combined with creativity, Japanese cuisine recognized around the world. Top class chefs who have delighted gourmets around the world will present original recipes for home cooking. Food produced in Japan will be used as the main ingredients. The first chef is Antony Luis Adoris from Spain, who has charmed gourmets around the world. He will use Japanese Wagyu. This is a product extraordinary. Next will be David Boulay, a gifted chef in the world of U.S. French cuisine. He will use Japanese yellowtail. Totally different fish. It's uh, taste, texture, everything is different. The third chef will be Murata Yoshihiro, a world-class authority on Japanese cuisine. He will use Japanese scallops. So, how will the three legendary chefs transform Japanese ingredients into home cooking? San Sebastian is a port town in the Basque region of northern Spain. It's known as a town for gourmets. This is the famous cuisine, pinchos. The bread has been topped with fresh local seafood, meat and vegetables. Bars bustle with people who come to enjoy this cuisine. This town is also renowned for giving birth to high-class restaurants as the town for gourmets. One such restaurant is Mugaritz at the top of a hill on the outskirts of town. The famous restaurant has been ranked among the top 10 restaurants for over 12 consecutive years in the world's 50 best restaurants sponsored by a foodie magazine in the UK. They serve highly original food. In this dish, edible stones are served with real stones. This is an apple fermented with yeast for making cheese. And this food is served on a dish of a person's face with covered eyes. It makes diners gasp and say, it's like going to an opera. In addition to taste and appearance, the restaurant serves surprises and the unexpected. It's like a place where experiments are carried out on satisfying all five senses. This is the owner chef, Antony Luis Adoris. He has devoted himself to cooking since the age of 14. He trained at world famous restaurants such as El Bougie, then opened Mugaritz in 1998. Bueno, Mugaritz es un restaurante que se distingue del resto principalmente porque trabajamos con ideas. Para nosotros los productos, que son muy importantes, no dejan de ser una herramienta para darle forma a esas, a esas ideas. ¿no? Adoris, who has visited Japan many times, says his encounter with Japanese food culture had a major impact on his career. Para mí, la cultura japonesa, la cultura gastronómica japonesa, me ha permitido encontrar esa perfección con la que me siento tan identificado y cantidad de productos, de ingredientes y de técnicas que no estaban dentro de mi mundo. This is silk sake handkerchief, a dish inspired by a visit to a sake brewery in Japan. The white cloth-like food is rice 
that has been malted with koji mold and rolled out. In sake brewing, koji mold turns the starch and rice into sugar, which is mixed with water and yeast and slowly fermented into alcohol. This dish was made in the image of the sake brewery. This koji mold rice is also served topped with a prawn. The silk sake handkerchief is warmed before serving by placing it on a hot stone inside the wooden box. Steam and the aroma of sake waft out of the box when it is taken out, creating an atmosphere like being inside a brewery. Mm. Atoris chose Japanese wagyu as his ingredient for home cooking. Japanese wagyu are bred, raised, and distributed according to strict rules. Raised with the greatest care, the meat is characterized by its tenderness and juiciness. Una de las características que tiene este producto es que ni siquiera yo me atrevería a ponerlo en la categoría de las carnes, tal y como se entienden las carnes en el mundo. Productos muchos más magros que tienen un, una forma de morder diferente, tienen una masticación diferente. Este es un producto extraordinario. O sea, está en un registro muy diferente eh, a lo que habitualmente entendemos que es una carne. This is a dish being served at Mugaritz using Japanese Wagyu. Japanese Wagyu is sold online and through specialty stores throughout the world. De hecho, mira, aquí tengo un, un, un poquito. Una carne limpia, delicada, deriva al dulce. Eh, está cerca del cielo. Como producto, está cerca del cielo. Una cosa que es fantástica es esta, mira. Esta. La ah. Solamente con, con la temperatura del cuerpo, como la grasa, es de muchísima calidad. O sea, esto... Simplemente, eh, con la temperatura del cuerpo, haciendo así. So, here is Adoris' home cooking using Japanese Wagyu. First is the garnish. The skin is peeled off boiled chickpeas, and they are mashed coarsely, so they retain their texture. A dash of olive oil and a pinch of salt are added to this. Beef tallow is added to a heated frying pan before cooking the meat. Si se acerca él, puede puede ver aquí como la grasa empieza. Es que así yo consigo controlar la temperatura y a la vez lo que estoy poniendo es una 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 capita de grasa muy pequeña que me va a ayudar a. When the beef tallow looks ready, the meat is fried. It's fried on one side, so it's rare and isn't burnt. It turns a nice golden brown color after about two minutes. The fried meat is temporarily moved to a dish and left to sit for five to ten minutes. Lo bueno es las carnes en general y aunque tenga mucha grasa, lo bueno de la carne es eh, que la tensión que coge cuando está en el fuego ahora la dejemos que repose un poco y la temperatura, el calor también pase a la parte que está poco hecha. It's time to serve the meat. The fried side is sprinkled with salt. The chickpea paste is spread over the entire surface. Japanese pepper, sancho, can add a touch of spiciness to the taste. The spiciness of grated horseradish adds an accent to the overall taste. Some grated lemon rind also adds flavor. Finally, the meat is garnished with a generous serving of herbs and a sprinkle of salt.
final es una carne que está dulce, la grasa está dulce, es una grasa muy apetecible, eh, tiene un, un, tiene, no, no satura en exceso. Eh, y todo esto, claro, se lo da la alimentación, ¿no? la, la raza y la alimentación. Y um, es innegable que eh, Japón tiene productos que son eh, patrimonio de, de la humanidad, son patrimonio, son universales, ¿no? son extraordinarios. New York, USA. In June 2022, an American chef was awarded the Order of Agricultural Merit at the Consulate General of France. This is a highly prestigious medal awarded to those who have contributed greatly to the promotion of agriculture and food culture in France. His name is David Boulay. He is a star chef who has led restaurants in New York for over 30 years as a top authority on French cooking in the U.S. He has opened many famous French restaurants loved by celebrities. No one can make sauces the way he does, and they're said to be impossible to imitate, even by professionals. The numerous recipes based on unique ideas have been nicknamed Boulet Magic. Boulet visited Japan for the first time in 1996. He was greatly influenced by the high quality of food, healthy cooking, and other aspects of Japanese food culture. I feel that way when I went to Japan. Like, everybody knows about nature. I couldn't believe it. They know so many things that are in the wild, so many things in season. French and Japan have very much in common. We always eat in season. Always the products go well, which you find in season. So even if you're a bad cook and you cook with products in season, your food is always going to taste good. It's never going to be bad. Boulay checks the quality of the Japanese ingredients prepared for this occasion. Well, you can do that with your arms? You yeah, I did it. I, it doesn't hurt. I just can't straighten it out. Oh, melon. Oh. oh. I think we have to eat one right now. I just figured out. This one has a lot more texture, very smooth, like custard. This melon is perfect for that dish today. The master of French cooking was asked to make French cuisine using a Japanese ingredient. He always starts by drawing an image of the recipe he has in mind. This has given birth to countless Boulay Magic recipes. He will use frozen farmed Japanese yellowtail as his main ingredient. It is very fresh and can be eaten raw. Yellowtail is a migratory fish found in waters around Japan. It is farmed mainly on the Pacific side of Western Japan, where the water is relatively warm. It's a rich source of high-quality protein and fat. It's been eaten in Japan since the old days in sushi, as sashimi, and grilled. Wow, look at this color. It's beautiful. U.S. and Japanese yellowtail are completely different. Yeah. Bule began importing sushi-quality yellowtail 25 years ago to use in his recipes. They must freeze. Japanese yellowtail can now be bought online at supermarkets and specialty stores selling Japanese food. Taste, texture, everything is different. Style, farming, is um, moving. The, like athletes, the, the flavor, acid flavor, is higher. But when you deep freeze, you go so deep, so fast, frozen already. So there's no water breaking out of the cell. The cell stays intact. First, he makes a dish of yellowtail stewed in olive oil. The red meat is removed. The 
fish is placed in a heat-resistant dish, and some herbs and spices are added for flavor before being submerged in olive oil. The secret lies in how the fish is cooked. Yellowtail turns flaky when overheated, so it's poached gently at a low temperature. Soft, yeah. It's gotta, when you squeeze it, it just breaks. And that's when it's ready. Warmed, bite-sized pieces of melon are served with wasabi. Oh, it smells good. The gently poached yellowtail is placed on top and garnished with sauce, nori seaweed, and Japanese ginger to complete the first dish. Next is another dish of slow-cooked yellowtail. Skinned rhubarb is simmered slowly with sherry, orange liquor, and water. Light brown miso sauce is mixed into boiled Japanese rice. It is topped with yellowtail and rhubarb, then seasoned to complete the dish. It's gonna taste very good. Zach, did you try this one? Yeah. And at last, it's Japanese yellowtail carpaccio, Bully's recommended home cooking. He starts with the sauce. Vanilla essence, creme fraiche, and kabosu juice are added to Japanese light brown miso. Then he adds vanilla extract, white pepper, meeting, lemon juice, and maple syrup. A few drops of sesame oil are added to the sauce before it is spread over a dish. Yeah. Extra virgin olive oil is poured onto a separate dish and some lemon and lime are squeezed over it. Frozen Japanese yellowtail can be eaten raw, making it ideal for use in carpaccio. Thin slices of yellowtail are placed over the olive oil, sprinkled with pepper and salt, and left to stand. After a minute or two, the fish is placed on the bed of light brown miso sauce, and the remaining marinade is drizzled over it. Last, it's decorated with fennel fronds to complete the carpaccio. Bule shares a tip for home cooking with Japanese ingredients. The Japanese ingredients are very easy to use. And the, it's just imagination that you have to do it only like they do it in Japan. Well, we're not in Japan. And probably if you're outside of Japan, you're not Japanese. So why do you feel I have to make it exactly the same? So they work very well with your local recipes. So many of your local recipes can expand with Japanese ingredients, and you can start, create a, your own style. Kyoto is a town where history and tradition live on to this day. Kikunoi is a restaurant boasting a history of over 100 years. It's a world-famous Michelin three-star restaurant. Murata Yoshihiro is its third-generation owner-chef. He is a master chef who is striving to evolve traditional Japanese cuisine through the power of science. He serves traditional kaiseki cuisine. He draws out the natural taste of foods in season by relying on the umami of juices from seafood and vegetables. Utsuaga 
、えー、その料理人なりに表現するかが重要なんで。This dish served in a bowl portrays fall in Japan. Rice, yuzu, matsutake mushrooms, and other foods come into season in fall, for which it is known as the season of bountiful harvests. This dish also portrays the Japanese custom of cherishing the moon as a symbol of the bounties of fall. So, I was able to get the money 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 to get the money. 空気というのはその、えー、正面にあったようなああいうしつらえとか、えー、ここにもその、えー、美術館レベルの門が置いてあるんですけども、えー、そういうこととその料理がうまいことこう、えー、リンクしてくるということがおもてなしということなんですよ。村田 has been actively involved in promoting the charms of traditional Japanese cuisine throughout the world. Kikunoi has also accepted many apprentices from overseas. An apprentice from Vietnam is working at the moment. Murata chose Japanese scallops for his home cooking. They're farmed mainly in cold regions in Japan, such as Hokkaido in the Tohoku region. Frozen Japanese scallops retain their fresh taste thanks to outstanding freezing technology, and they are used throughout the world for sashimi, sushi, and a variety of other dishes. They're becoming available in more regions online at supermarkets and specialty stores selling Japanese food. Now, Murata will make home cooking using Japanese scallops. He will use five ingredients. Here are the frozen scallops, followed by Japanese pepper, sancho, soy sauce, sake, and mirin. Kono mo puri puri shite masu kedo. Kono reito desu yo. Mo shinsen na uchi ni ne reito shite masu kara mo honto ni ano iro mo kirei shi oishi desu ne. Thawed scallops are placed in a pot with Japanese pepper, soy sauce, sake, and mirin are added to this. Then it's heated with a wooden drop lid. こうやって煮汁が回りますから。で、あとはもうこのままほっといて、汁気がなくなるまで煮てたらいいだけですから、簡単ですよね。これで。放っとけばいいんです。ずっと放っといたら焦げますからね。時々は見てくださいよ。はい。After dropping the lid and bringing it to a boil, it is left to simmer for 20 to 30 minutes until the scallops turn black. It's finished when the sauce turns thick and exposes the bottom of the pot. The taste seeps in, making it even nicer when it's left overnight. 冷蔵庫で保存すると、えー、まあ1ヶ月やそこらは持つと思います。That completes the home cooking using Japanese scallops. They're so tasty. A single scallop is all you need to eat with your rice.、えー、タレはいろんなものに使いますね。これで野菜炒めを作る。他の調味料としてもこれは美味しいっていうようなそのホタテの旨味がいっぱい入ったこの醤油だれになってますから。Today, the apprentice from Vietnam makes fried rice using Murata scallops.
the stewed scallops are pressed and chopped finely. Chopped onion, ginger, rice, and the chopped scallops are sauteed, and scallop sauce is added to the frying pan. Last, he adds garlic chive to it and tops the rice with sliced Japanese ginger. Murata brings some mint from his kitchen garden. ベトナム<笑><笑><笑> え、非常にこう味やもえ、日本もアジアの一国やという感じがするキムアップウィズアイデアズフォーホームクッキングユーシングジャパニーズイングリディエンツ。They え、これはもう、え、食べなくて生きてる人はいないんで。え、その え、どこにあるのかというようなことは知ってる方がいいわね。<音楽>